Hello everyone, I'm the Gaming Beaver, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World, the game where we have got a load of things to get through, all really cool. I hope you're having a great day today, and let's get down to business to see our this. So, like, I opened it the other day, and there was so many new things. Apparently there's, like, a cave pack, so I think we've cycled through all of these creatures. Like, every day, Ludia put out, it was Dacosol. And then it went uh, Zephactinus. And then it went Dunkelosius. I think we don't... The only one we didn't get is... Is that... Geosaur. Yeah, we haven't got Geosaur, I don't think. Yeah, it, it, that, it, that is Geosaur. I can't remember. But uh, then we got, like, a common plus pack. And I just want to show you this. First, we'll collect our VIP mystery. Yes, yes, yes. I have become a VIP again. For the reason that, like... I want to get DNA, and, um, basically, if I become a VIP, it's sort of a cheaper way for me to get uh, legendary packs, because if I'm a VIP, then I can do the VIP event, which is always a legendary pack. Um, so, it's a bit like in Tiny Downer World, where you can pay for, um, I think there's something in there, which is basically a cheaper alternative if, you, if you're willing to work for it, to get good stuff, and that's what this is. As well as you get like good food, you get um, you know, every, every mystery pack now, instead of 10 bucks, you get 30 bucks, and as well as you double your VIP points all the time. Now I did trade some VIP points for food, so we are on 67 million crop, which is awesome, and uh, we'll just up that a little bit more. I have done these events, so we only need to do one uh, bad lead. So we're going to win a legendary pack, we're going to win a monster D pack, and we're going to win five American Badlands packs. Um, but there is something, there is something, guys, something really, something that I don't even know how it managed to, like, go past me. Now, we're going to talk about the strongest or the, the most attack creature in this entire game. And some people have managed to actually come up against this. Now, if you didn't know uh, a while ago, when Ludia introduced some new hybrids, I can't remember uh, what they were. Hold on. Let me just have a quick look. Because they introduced, like, three new hybrids, but one of them was taken out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. They introduced Gorgosuchus, and they introduced uh, Nung... Nundagosaurus. Nundu right, that's the one, yes. <laughs> so they introduced those two, and I'll put up the image, but there was something else that was not released with them. In fact, actually, it was put in, quickly taken out. And I mean quickly taken out. I don't know why, but this creature is a mixture of... I think it is berries. If, do we have berries? Yes. Yeah. No, no, that's that's pecky eyes. It's definitely not berries. Let's hold on. Let's see if we can find berries. Uh, I'll just quickly check to make sure I didn't shove it in here. Uh, I did. Oh, I'm so sorry, berries. Um, I don't think there is actually anywhere for you to go. Tell you what, we'll we'll shove something else out that we don't need, like like Darwin Optimus. Who? Who needs that? There we go. And then we'll uh, put in berries because I just want to show this to you guys. Um, Alright, there you are. There you are, berries. You sit. Pride of place. Berries. So it's a Dimorphodon. So it's a legendary creature. I, it, I think it's a mix. It's a hybrid mix. And this is the first one we've had. Gorgosuchus was a tournament creature mix. Whereas this one, which is called Metriophodon. So it's a mix between Dimorphodon, which is the last uh, last segment of that name, and uh, the uh, the hybrid, which is a really cool looking hybrid, Metriolon. And I'm pr I think it's this. I could be wrong, but for its attack stats, it only makes sense that it's this thing. This is a crocodile that stands on two feet, people. I would love to have this thing, Max. It looks beast. Um, I mean, what's worse than, I mean, dinosaurs, I mean, everyone thinks just like, basically, crocodiles standing on two feet, and, uh, there you go, that's basically what this thing is, so it's a mix between these two, uh, to make, uh, Metromorphodon, which I'll put up, you know, a proper image, hopefully I've shown it, but what, what is amazing about this creature is not that, of course, it's a, a, a first ever hybrid 
um, creature of first level, like, it's a hybrid. Hybrid, basically. It's, it's a double hybrid. Um, but what makes it amazing is its attack. Now, if we go to Indominus Rex, we go to a level 40. <laughs> okay, level 40 Indominus Rex. You know how badass this thing is. This thing is crazy insane. So good. And I mean so good. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to touch this. But, okay, I'll touch him all. There you go. There you go. Get angry. Get mean. Get your rage face on. Yes. So, this thing has 5,000 health. 2,000 attack. Now, Gorgasuchus, the other hybrid, has 8,000 health. So, that's 3,000 more. But, has about like 2,200 attack. So, as far as the attack goes, Indominus isn't too far behind. But, this is where things get insane. I'm going to throw up an image of Metro Orphodon, which is level 31, as you can see here. But look at the attack. 4,425. And it's level 31. Guys, it's level 31, and it can almost one-hit KO 90% of the creatures in the freaking game. That's... Stupidly amazing. Um, its health is 4,721, which is, uh, you know, it's it's a sweeper. This thing is purely a sweeper. It can almost kill itself in one hit. Although saying that, 4,000 health is still really, really good. So it kind of sets the bar for what a, hy a hybrid hybrid could have. If this is a sweeper, imagine what a health tank would have. Usually a health tank can take two hits from a sweeper. So we're talking about 10,000 health for future hybrids. Not only that, but this is a, it's a legendary, which, you know, Dimorphodon, it's a legendary um, and super rare hybrid. No, we're not talking legendary, legendary hybrid or two legendary hybrids like Indominus Rex and Super Kool-Aid. No. This isn't the best. And we're talking about 4,000 attack here. Can you imagine if Indominus Rex got merged with anything? Like, I mean, you take its normal attack. Usually when things get hybridized, it equals out. It, like, so, at whatever it was, max. So, uh, we have a level 10 Indominus Rex here with 561 attack. But a level uh, 40 T-Rex has 612. But of course, it's hybrided with the Raptor with 306. So you get an average. So if Indominus Rex at level 40 was to be hybridized with something, a level 10 of that version would probably have 2,000 attack. And may oh, depending if it's worse than Indominus, which it probably will be, it'll probably have 1,500 attack at level 10. So, you might be thinking, okay, can we can we guess what it's going to have at level 40? Like a maxed Metrophodon? <laughs> well, guys, there is an image. Someone has managed to come up against this thing. And I want to do this too. I don't know if it's still in the game. But I want to give it a fair shot. We are going to search for Metrophodon. So here's the second image. Metrophodon level 39. And it's up against an Ostoposaurus. Which makes its attack, and you can see it, 7,745. That's enough to one hit KO an Ostoposaurus maxed. Just one hit. Now, the only, only thing that can stand up to that, that's an amphibian, is Gorgasuchus. But even then, it's going to be left with like 300 health. In fact... Let's have a look at what Gorgasuchus, how much health it has. And uh, bear in mind, this isn't even a maxed. So, Metrophodon maxed could have like 7,800 attack. So, uh, we already know uh, Ostoposaurus is dead with one hit. Actually, Gorgasaurus is 9,200. So, it's the only amphibian that can stand up to Metrophodon. Although, stand up is a strong word. It can take one hit, and that's all. Two hits, it's out. And as you can see here, Gorgasuchus only has 2,300 attack. So, it's only 300 extra on Indominus Rex. And this one costs 42,000. 
And Indominus Rex uh, costs 29,000. So, yes, it has about 4,000 extra health, but only 200 extra attack. Uh, sorry, 300 extra attack. So, we can calculate what Metrophodon, if I bring up the image again, what its attack is, like, neutral, without that extra 50% boost. Um, so, what we need to do is try to take away the 50% boost. So, we're gonna- I'm gonna do some amazing math here. We're gonna put its 7,745 attack into a calculator. I'm gonna divide that by three, which gives its attack in thirds, which I think makes sense because it's, you know, it's 50%. It's a, in total, its attack is 150%. So if we divide that by three, we get 50% of its attack. And then we just double that and we have 100%. So we divide that by three, which gives us 2,500. And then we times that by two to give Metrophodon's attack at level 39, 5,163. So, it can almost one-shot an Indominus with one hit. Now, we don't know how much extra attack it's going to get with that one level to make it level 40. It could be a lot, but it might not be. Um, so if we, if we say, we'll just round it up. Let's say it's attack at level 40 is 5,200. That leaves Indominus Rex after one hit with a pitiful 230 attack. <laughs> Sorry, hell. Um, so we, guys, we are looking at the, the most OP creature now. Ludia took this out. Whether it was for balancing issues or whether it, it they, I, like, I don't know. I hope, I really hope they don't change it. And actually, it's health. I didn't even look at its health. Its health is 5,500. So it's more than an Indominus. So it can take, I think, maybe, possibly two hits from an Indominus. Because I know Indominus can't, Indominus Rex can't kill itself in two hits. Which means that because Metrophodon has more than, more health than it's, than Indominus, Indominus can't kill it in two hits. Indominus is going to have to go for three hits to kill it. So, as far as I'm aware, Metrophodon is by far the, the strongest and the best strategical dinosaur or flying creature, whatever you want to call it, in the game right now. One, because its attack is so bloody high, neutral. Two, you fight amphibians literally all the time. Because... Um, I mean, amphibians are good against carnivores, and carnivores are plentiful in this game. So, amphibians have always hold, held a niche against them. The only thing that's, uh, that has stopped um, amphibians is flyers. And we haven't had very many good ones. Since VIP came out, we managed to get this thing, the Pterodactylus, which has 2,000 attack. When, when you compare it, it's not even half of what Metrophodon has. Um... So, and because I've got so much DNA, I'm guessing this thing is going to cost 50,000. So we need to buy seven. And not even only that, we need to max up Metrolong. And I'm hoping it is Metrolong. Uh, I won't max it up just in case it isn't. But if it is 50,000 DNA, so um, let's, I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping at the minimum it's 50,000. Because it's, got, it's probably going to be more with those stats. So 50... One, two, three. So 50,000 times by seven is how much DNA we are going to have to spend. And that is 350,000, which would take us down to 110,000 DNA, which should be enough to max it, to put it like to speed it up in the incubators and what have you. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the incubation time in the hatchery. So we may have to wait. Um, we all- I also, off screen, managed to get another mammoth! So we have a level 10, a level 20, a level 30, and a level 1. And all together, these can make a maxed mammoth. However, we're not gonna do that. I'm thinking about waiting until there's glacier battles or new glacier creatures. Probably- I, I'm thinking glacier battles, so we can max up the mammoth, and then with the hype! Take on some other glacier creatures. Um, so we're just going to check the harbor. So basically, guys, I would save up your DNA. Because if you get Metrophodon, it's going it, to... If it's in your team, it's going to kill everything. 
As long as you use it wisely, it's going to kill everything. Oh, 4,000 food for a Spinaraptor? Ooh, I might have to take you up on that offer. So we got 10,000 bucks for an Ankylodocus. Um, I, I still don't know how much DNA it's costing. Tell you what, we'll put it in a hatchery. And then that should hopefully get rid of it. Oh, we've got three. Oh, my good lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't spent any DNA on this. I've spent bucks on this. Um, should uh, You know what? We should, shouldn't we? We should. We should just put them in. It's gonna t It only takes 23 hours? Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to put these all in. Um, just to free up some space. And to actually see how much uh, we're sort of saving. So, it costs 10,920 DNA. But we can spend 10,000 bucks on it. Um, oh, it's exactly the same amount. So, instead of DNA, we're spending bucks, basically. Um, hmm. I'm wondering, is that worth it? 10,000 bucks. Now, we don't have that many bucks, but the thing here is, you don't spend bucks on much. If all you spend bucks are is, uh, it's speeding things up. And then, you know, maybe like 3,000 for a tournament creature. Um, so, the thing is, Anglodocus is a really good hybrid. And, hey... Now that we've got the introduction to hybrid hybrids, uh, we already have a maxed, but you know, it might be good to have some extra. So I'm actually tempted to do that. The 4 million, basically 5 million food for a Spinoraptor. How much does Spinoraptor cost? Because that's the Metrolong, and that only costs 8,000. I think Spinoraptor is a bit more, 9,000. So instead of spending 9,000 DNA, which is the equivalent of probably two or three legendary packs worth, um, I think I'm just going to buy both of those. I'm going to trade the food. And I'm going to trade the uh, books. So there go the books. 10,000 books. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, and then here goes the uh, food. So there we go. We got two new. We got two more hybrids. Because we haven't got quackers. We haven't got quackers. Where even is quackers? I, I was going to say, we do have a level 30 quackers. And now we got a, another level 10. So we got level 30 and a level 20 ready. Uh, we just need two more and we can max out that. Um, Metrolong, we don't have that much because, like, we already have Carnaraptor. We already have Indominus. We have Pritrodon. We have so many good carnivores that uh, Metrolong really didn't seem necessary. But with the addition of Metrophodon, I think we might need to do it. <laughs> um, so... Let's do some battle. Let's do the avian ancestors. If we can do one pterosaur. Uh, well, we have to do one pterosaur. My bad. Uh, so we'll put in that. Then we'll put in Carnaraptor. Um, and we'll... Yeah, I mean, we don't really need anything else. But just in case, I'll put in that. So... Oh, we can't get killed in two hits. Hopefully, it'll go for two. Oh, no, we can't get killed in two hits. It doesn't go for that. I wanted, Terid I wanted Pterodactylus to die so that we could just easy uh, bring Conoraptor, kill it with one hit. Hope it's got to go for two to kill us, so... Uh, what do you oh, my God, we can kill it in three hits. This thing's terrible. Oh, wow. Okay, um... Oh, no, it, do it does. Okay. No way. It did kill us. It did kill us. We could have killed it. We had chances. But Conoraptor is going to kill it in one hit. So, one, you're dead. One, two, block. And then, you know, three. That's it. We got four reserves. Three, block. Nothing Trodon could do. I don't think it has over a thousand attack. Maybe level 40, I think it has over a thousand attack. Very colorful. Love the plumage on it. Um. And, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm really excited because I want this freaking dinosaur. Like, I, we have not seen anything like this jump in the regular game since Indominus Rex. We haven't seen, like, going from 2,000 attack to 5,000 attack. More than double. We haven't seen that jump since the hybrids were introduced. Because T-Rex was the best we could have got, which was 600. And then when Indominus Rex was introduced, it went straight up to, to 2,000. And with this update, whenever this thing drops, hopefully it's still the same attack and same stats. It'll be another big jump. 
Um, oh, there you go. Oh, God, 5,000. Oh, it's so good. M uh, microvasaurus. Well, we could probably sell that. We've got plenty of those. And we double that. Uh, a lot of you guys, or at least one of you guys said, Beaver, you know what? I'm glad you got to taste what it's like not to be a VIP. <laughs> and I am too. Like, if a lot of you guys aren't VIP and, it, and it's sucking for you, I want to know. I right? Like, because I, I, I want Ludia to get feedback from all of us. Um, not just like they look at my videos and say, oh, well, he's doing really well. Everything's fine. Because I'm playing um, Tiny Dino World right now. Not Tiny Dino World, sorry. Dino Hunter Deadly Shores. And I'm having to grind and grind and grind. It's ridiculous. It's not even funny. It really isn't funny. Um, you know what's solid? Let's put our best creatures in. Let's do this. Um, and like if, if it's the same things happening for Jurassic World, I would, I would want them to know about it. Like, if it was my game, I would want to know and I would fix it. I'd be like, wow, okay, this is kind of broken. Here you go, here's the fix. So, uh, Hanoidus is out pretty quick. Uh, Dunkelos just comes in um, and has about like 600 attack. Oh, only 500. Wait, I say only 500, because we've been dealing with pretty high numbers. We haven't been saying much up. Uh, so we may as well just go for four. He may have two block. He did go for two block. <laughs> Bless it. We didn't need to use anything. We're going to get this uh, super rare pack in a second. Um, but one thing I do want to do is... Um, and You know what? Might as well do that. He may have two block. He went for... Oh, my God. <laughs> Triple kill. That was amazing. Almost perfection. Orthocanthus. You Orden catfish, you. My god. So here it is, super epic. Let's hope we have more DNA. Yes! Oh, you know what it is? Ever since I complained, ever since I whinged <laughs> about not getting bucks, not getting DNA, in these packs we always get it, and it's so good because we need it. Like with the dinosaurs that are out right now, we need every scrap of DNA because they took out the missions, which was a blessing because if you got a legendary pack and you got a mission, you won twenty. You won ten bucks. That was it. And they've taken the buildings are rarer, and coin is even more rare. I mean, we get it from our dinosaurs. That's where we should get coin. We don't need anything else. So booster selected. Oh, <laughs> who should we use? I think Gorgosuchus. We'll give it a oh, two hundred fifty percent. We'll give it three extra goes. We'll give it three extra attacks, and we'll make sure they lose three goes. Like, that, this could do it. This could easily do it. So, um, I'm not gonna go for the 250% straight away because if we get hit a couple of times and then do 250%, we get even more than 250%. So now we get 250% plus what we've lost. Um, so I'm gonna give myself plus three. So that takes us to six, I think. Yeah, there we go. I didn't realize, actually, if you're an eight and then you give yourself three extra goes, you could hit with 11 attack. I had no idea. We're gonna do that one day. We're gonna get like Indominus Rex or something with the highest attack and it gets the 50% boost and then hit it with 12 to see just how much damage we can do legit in the game without it being like, you know, a hack or anything like that. Um, so one, two, um, it did hit us. So it's got nothing. Uh, I'm gonna block for one. Right, so that's the first Trodon dead. And we're gonna refresh the infinite battle pack. That's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna buy it back, probably for about 50 bucks, just to speed it up. See what's in it, fight what's in it, and then, um... Did it? Sodden! Sodden! You're losing three! You're losing all your next turns, goes. I don't think it has anything now. Um... I didn't- I actually, I don't even need a block because it has nothing. I could have just went for four reserve. It's like, oh, it's my go! Ah, oh, balls! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of over for you. Um, yeah, like, here we go. We could go for, like, nine hits if we did that plus three. That's what I mean. If, if somehow you could do two, you could have, like, a plus four attack and then a plus four goes. And that would be absolutely insane. So there we go. So we got five of these packs. Fingers crossed for some legendaries. 
Uh, well, those are common. That's okay. I mean, we're, with this sort of pack, you expect it. Uh, we do get, however, like, you know, twice as many. Um, oh, it's super rare. Awesome. That's a lot of DNA. It's about like three to four hundred DNA. Uh, maybe even five. I can't even remember. Uh, so pack number three. A rare. Not bad. Loads of DNA. That's good. Another 130. Uh, is this the third pack? I think we went common, super rare, rare. So this is the fourth pack. Another common. So last pack now. And the final one. Come on, legendary. Damn it. <laughs> it's a Triceratops, though. Like, that's just free DNA. You get... It's like, wait 30 seconds for your DNA when you get that thing. So, we're going to refresh this. It's 121 bucks. And we face... Damn. Damn, I was hoping. I was really hoping it was going to be there. Okay. Okay. Not... You know, it's 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 not bad. We, we can easily do that. In fact, we don't even need Rajasteka. Um, We just need a sort of decent... Amphibian, so that'll do. Uh, we're gonna go for the one reserve. And we'll do one more infinite battle refresh. Um, because I feel like our best chance, if it's in the game, because I don't even know if it's in the game, is infinite battle. We could do the uh, live battle arena and put in our best creatures. And maybe, because both of these images, one shows it in this arena, and this, you can only play in this arena if, you're, um, if you do the infinite battles. And the other one is a live arena battle, which shows me that it, if it is in the game, and that battle, that live arena, is actually a boosted battle. And he used a max Pterodactylus, a max Pritrodon, which we don't have, but Indominus is pretty close, and a max Gorgosuchus. So I don't know whether you need those creatures in order for the game, because like, whatever you put in, the game tries to match um, your team, or at least it used to. Oh, it's dead! 16,000! See, that's a lot of damage, but nothing in comparison to Metrophodon, who could do that amount of damage in two hits. In fact, even more. So, like, I, I can't get over it. It's almost like, in two hits, 15,000 damage. Imagine eight. I can't eat, like, I can't even, I can't even, like, think about how much damage that would be. So I'm gonna go for the one extra. Um, he didn't even go for it, actually. So that means Indominus Rex. Indominus can kill me in two hits. Uh, he's going to have five, so he may go for four. Yeah, he does have five. Yeah, four can kill me. He might just go for four. Yeah. I was going to say, if he went for two, I would be annoyed. Because then he's got three block, and I don't think I can kill him. Still, level 20 for this VIP creature. Really, really good. Um, I think maybe the reason why Ludia took out the Metrophodon. Or Met what is it? Metria Metriophodon. Metriophodon. Uh, the reason why they took it out is just because it's unbalanced and it's really, really OP. Uh, unless they're thinking about putting in a new wave of like super hybrids. Uh, so we got, we got some books back. So it only costs like 90 or something. I don't even know. We got some of that. We do, we, you don't win the VIP, uh, um, mystery pack when you are a VIP in the infinite battle. You just win a regular. Regular pack. So I think we're going to sell this today for like 300. Yeah, 300. Off to the farm you go. So put in a Triceratops and we'll do one more battle. Um, we'll just refresh this for 280 and hopefully. Oh, God, you know, it's good. It's a good team. But like the stats wise for Metrophodon, I think we need to really push our like our creatures. But I can't afford that, because if we're going to buy it when it eventually comes out, and even save up for the Glacial Cenozoic creatures, we're going to need to hold on to our DNA. Uh, but, we'll, you know, we'll do this. We may as well, just so that the timer starts running on the next pack. Um, so, you def we definitely need Pterodactylus back, unless the dragon is cheaper. Dragon is cheaper, but, you know, it, it does have a little bit more health. Um, I'm going to put that in. Then that, and then that. Ew, this is a really close team. I don't know who would win. Uh, but we have Wit and Guile and Strategy. And uh, they are just going to attack me straight away. Okay. Okay, I don't think we can get killed in two hits. So I'm going to go for a full-on three reserve. Oh, and he did block. Thank God. Okay. If he'd reserved, then we were definitely dead. I don't think two hits can kill us. Oh, he's only got one block. And we've got six. One, two, three kills it. Factor in one just in case. 
Oh, he did go for it. I was actually thinking not to do that. But because I had a feeling he wasn't going to block. But the thing is, just, just do what you normally do. Always factor it in. And when it when they do do it, you're like, oh, yeah, awesome. So that's all of his goes done. Because one definitely could have killed me. And I only had two uh, reserve. Um, right. So we can... Uh, 8,000. Whoa! <laughs> Four hits and I'm 50% on a max dragon. Good lord. Burn, baby, burn. So uh, he's probably going to go for four because four can kill me. So we won a rare pack. Um, I did try doing the raptor, like the raptor obedience uh, over and over and just like trying to grind it four packs. But I think they've turned down the pack ratio. So it, it's not it's not worth it. I mean, technically, I think it is because on the trade harbor, if you get legendary prizes, like the legendary like plus four attack, you can trade them for really good stuff. So there's another hundred. A rare pack. Uh, oh, 200 bucks. I think it only, so we only lost 88 bucks from buying that back. And we've got 500 DNA as well as a Pyroraptor. So that's, you know, another 300 DNA. And the 260 uh, VIP points. Awesome. I haven't got a legendary pack on the Battle Stage Infinite in si since, like, they fixed it. Because before, you could refresh the pack until it was a legendary and then buy it and then win it and there was a chance that you would lose out and you would you wouldn't win bucks but it was up to you i thought it was you know it's a decent way it's a decent wager i thought like if you want to do it it's there you're not guaranteed to get your bucks back and maybe even lose out and get only food or coin but it was there i thought like changing that was kind of a hindrance because now battle stage infinite isn't worth it because I usually have even better prizes to use my dinosaurs on and infinite battle just sort of stays there like I don't want to I, I can wait six hours for a free one that's even better than that one because it's not even VIP uh, so oh, there you go there's a triceratops so you just have to wait like put it in the oven it's a slow cook triceratops how you doing buddy give me 50 DNA <laughs> and we're almost up to 470 thousand but we get half a million DNA Oh, I'm going to be happy. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you're psyched for Metrophodon, and eventually when these glacier creatures are going to land, because I don't even know when, um, but they will eventually, um, and probably packs. I mean, if we're, if we're expecting the same as the aquatic, because so far it has been the same, when the Mosasaur came out in the tournament, um, after it, you could buy the pack. Same happened with the Mammoth. Then there was a break when we just had the uh, Mosasaur doing nothing. Um, the same with the mammoth. He's just sat there doing nothing in his little hole. Uh, if we take a look at the enclosure, I don't think I've really shown you it. Cenozoic. And then you've got these really nice, um, hints of, like, sort of... Is it rose gold? Something like that. It's... Oh, man, Whitney would kill me because she really likes it. Um, it's something like that. It's like rose gold. It's not gold. You know what I mean. Something like that. Um, and inside is cool. Like, I love the, um, is it, oh, I don't like the Jurassic World logos. I feel like that's, it's like a bit too much branding. I mean, I'm already in Jurassic World. You don't need to show me that it's Jurassic World. But it, that could be their, um, form of stopping other app games stealing images. But then if I, if I was an app developer or whatever, and I was on the prowl to steal images, because a lot of them do, I would just Photoshop that out. That's not too hard. It's in the background. Uh, but where's the, um, yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Like the sort of snow blizzard of filter effect. And uh, that one's, again, pretty easy to, to filter out. And how many Jurassic Worlds do we need? God damn it. I love the trees. I want to see, like, it's, it's a far off cry, right? It's a dream. It's a dream at this point. I want, when I get all my creatures, like all of the planes, I want to see them, like, you know, interacting. I want to see like a Titanoboa just snaking around a tree in the background. So one thing I've never um, sort of done is predict where the other ones are going to be. Because so far, if we go back, we go market, we go glacier, we have snow, savanna, savanna, and cavern. So if we go inside, it's pretty obvious where savanna is going to be, or savanna. It's going to be there. Like, that's it. That's a desert. That's where... Um, the terror bird's gonna be, um, I think the dodo may be here. The dodo may be over there, I'm not sure. That's where the saber-toothed cat will be, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, 
And as far as cave goes, I mean, that looks quite cavey to me. It's the only, if we zoom out, that's as much as I can sort of zoom out, I think. Yep, keep going. Yeah, that's as much as we zoom out. You can see there's a wall in the background. So behind that wall will probably be the um, the exhibit for that. Because, so we got this, this bit here is planes. That bit over there, cave. And that bit over there, savannah. And this bit over here, nothing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Unless caves in there with all the rocks. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this. It's going to be on the other side of that cliff. And you're going to have like a little cave inside bit where um, like the, the bear or whatever will clamber on some rocks to reach, um, to reach some sort of meat. I, I mean, that's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing because... Um, like with the um, the Capra Sutures or the Gatorade animation where he sort of clambered on rocks, I could imagine them doing that for the cave. And uh, should we feed the mammoth? I don't even know where the food comes from. Like that, that grass just appears. As soon as I click feed, it just appears. Like it comes up from the ground. And then when the camera turns away, come on, come on, come on. Is it going to be there? Is it going to be there? Is it going to be there? Damn it! Where'd it go? It's magic appearing grass. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this video, Leave a like, I'm hyped, I'm psyched, I've done the intro twice, and I'm gonna see you guys in another episode. Bye-bye!